Hey, what's up? What's good, squad? We back with another banger, you know. Hey, we got Charleston White. Hey, finally opening up, speaking about his manager. Hey, Jonathan Stewart. Hey, I told y'all, y'all thought it was a game. It's a lot of stuff I know that I didn't expose. Hey, but he know a little bit now. He say his manager coming out the TV show. Yeah, he is right about that. So he got a little bit about that. I don't know where he got it from, where he getting his information from. But, hey, it's a lot you don't even know. But I ain't going to speak on what we talked about. But, hey. I'm, I'm going to let y'all see a little piece of this video, y'all. I ain't going to drop the whole video because he's going long and raw up in here. So y'all go check out the video on his uh, Facebook page. Y'all go over there on his fan page or wherever it is. I forgot. This, he shared it on everything, on every page. So if y'all on any one of his pages, y'all follow any one of his pages, y'all go over there and watch the full video. I ain't going to post the full video. Y'all go on over there and check it out. You know what I'm saying? And, hey... It is what it is. Sometimes you got to, you, I ain't going to even speak no more. Let's get up into this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm holding my tongue like I've been holding it. Hey, yeah, let's get up into this video. Make sure y'all turn on the post notification game. Make sure y'all come in, subscribe. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like this boy, share this boy, do what you do. You know, run them numbers up, you dig? Hey, let's get it. Hey, who made it? And I got a lot of dollars, got my pockets thicker than a Bible. Yeah. Huh. Huh. And he said he dissing us, but just don't know this shit is suicidal. Huh. Dumbass. Hey, if you want a verse or something, I'ma need the money on you the ride. Working with the I'm making a yes man, man, nigga. Nobody in the city was fucking with you, nigga. The niggas at KOD fired you, fucked over you, nigga. Ricky Bobby and them fucked over you, nigga. Everywhere you been in your music career, you been fucked over, nigga. So you go try to come fuck over the people you fucked over, nigga. You fucked over Solo Lucy. You cried and told me he fucked over you. You cried and say Ricky Booker fucked over you. So let's, I'm going to tell y'all how this went. Nigga, bitch ass nigga. Y'all get that hoe ass nigga on here. Bitch ass nigga. Hoe ass motherfucking nigga. Bitch ass nigga. Dancing ass nigga, nigga. Everybody know you was a hoe. I knew you was a hoe, but you was a good dude, nigga. But I see the whole tendencies in you, bitch ass nigga. When we was riding by the hitching post. About a month ago. And you felt tough now because you got your gun. You felt tough now because I went and told you, my nigga, you got to go get your gun. So I took you out there to point blank and, and showed you how to buy your gun. Bitch ass nigga, you ain't never had no gun, ho. So nigga, don't talk on like you fucking me, nigga. Bitch ass nigga, we went 50 50 and I played foul with you, nigga. Bitch ass nigga, if I have anything in my spirit, nigga. I'm going to jail, bitch ass nigga. You got me fucked up, nigga. You got me fucked up, nigga. You don't want to answer my calls, bitch ass nigga. So you go put, nigga, you go make me come to your motherfucking doorstep. Nigga, if I go to bed tonight, nigga, police go out to come get me, nigga. And I swear to God, nigga. You got me fucked up, nigga. You think I'm going to let a coward like you, nigga? You think I'm going to let a coward take something, nigga? Bitch ass nigga, and I'm starting to feel like you played on me, nigga. I'll be sitting outside that bench, nigga, if I'm still, if I really feel like, say, nigga, litigation. Say, homie, let me tell you what you did, nigga. You said, say, homie, I'm going over there to Ernest to upload your album. You went over there to Ernest to upload the album. You said on Thursday, we go get together, we going over there, we go sit down and we go do the uh, ass cap and whatever that BMI shit. I don't know nothing about entertainment, nigga. You know about the entertainment. You said, say, man, the commercials at K-104, they want a $1,000 minimum balance, but they go let us get it for 500 I gave you 250 cash, nigga. I don't know nothing about no receipts, because we was friends. I don't know nothing about keeping no receipts, bitch-ass nigga. When you say it cost 500 I gave you 250 Same thing with the 97.9 commercial. When you said it was something, I gave you this. When you said it was this, I gave you that. When you said, say, nigga, I'm going to put this in account. Hey, homie, how much I need to give you? You told me don't worry about it. Say, homie, I just put that over there. You said, I don't worry about it. We working at, nigga, that's what you told me. So I wasn't keeping no motherfucking receipts, nigga. I was giving you cash motherfucking money. And everybody around me know it, bitch ass nigga. My wife know it. Everybody know it, nigga. My son, everybody, Joe Blow and them know it. Everything. Nigga, when them 30 pounds of socks came in with my face on them, nigga. I gave you the box, nigga. You got the box. Say, where the box at? You kept asking me where the box at. So you got all the, I gave you the box, homie. You my nigga. When the cups was made. We went over to Derrick Powell's house. 
He gave you the, you the, you got the, you my nigga, homie, you my manager, you handling everything. I'm not thinking, say, homie, keep a receipt that you giving this nigga some money. You calling me every day, nigga, telling me about how depressed your wife feels. You telling me how I done changed your life. You telling your wife how I done changed your life. You and your wife fighting because you acting like me now. Your sister, you and your sister fighting because you acting like me. You trying to be me now. Everybody around, see, you trying to be me now, nigga. You stopped worshiping Kanye West and started worshiping me, nigga. But I'm thinking we friends. I ain't saying, my nigga, let me see this. You got the password to my emails, you got the password to my YouTube, you got the password to my Facebook. Nigga, I ain't changed none of them passwords. You got the password to my music, nigga. You kept that before it went bad. I'm getting you the password to all my shit, homie, because I'm thinking we friends. You playing business with me. But then, guess what? All of a sudden, the Jonathan Stewart Fuck You TV show coming out. At first, it was just, man, I just need you to get me on YouTube. Man, we need to do an album. And, nigga, these are all your ideas, the album. Nigga, I just wanted to get on YouTube. And come to find out, you didn't even know how to set up the YouTube account. You nor Ernest. You nor Ernest, nigga. Knew how to set up the YouTube account. Then when we sat down with Music Access... In the meeting with Music Access, Ernest came and took a pen. Boy, I was dressed up with my bow tie, my polo sweater, my hat. Nigga, now that's when we went to 97.9. Oh, we gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you gotta go.